Yo, today I'm going to be breaking down a few different ways that you can create these crazy invisibility effects in After Effects and Photoshop, so let's get right into it. So I'm in Photoshop, I just dragged this picture in here. This is 4K, just downloaded from the internet. And there's a few different ways that you can do this effect. So you can do this effect with Photoshop with a still image, or you can do this in After Effects or Nuke by creating a clean plate on a moving video. And I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. But for this case, with the still image, essentially what we're gonna have to do is create a clean plate and then layer our buildings on top of it to have them slowly appear, making it almost seem as if they were invisible. So to create my clean plate, I need to remove all these buildings. So I'll come up here, click on the lasso tool, and then just drag around this guy like that. And then now with the generative fill that should automatically pop up is I'll just click generate. And there we go. After waiting for about 12 seconds, it disappeared and it's looking pretty good. That's probably the best way that you can do it. Another way is you could come up here to where it says edit when it's selected and then click content aware fill. But what I just showed you will get you the best result. And you can even click through here to get some good options. And as you can see, it pretty much generates that seamlessly so you can't even tell what's real and what's not. And now I'm just going to repeat this process to remove all of these buildings here. And there we go. Now this is what I have. And it doesn't look perfect, but it looks, you know, just good enough to the point where I don't think anyone's going to notice, especially once we have those final effects on there. So I'm just going to export this and put it in After Effects. So now that I'm in After Effects and I have this clip here, what I'm going to do is insert in the final shot. So I have the buildings layer on top and then my clean plate underneath. And now I can start masking these out and then animating them in to come into the shot. So to make this easy on myself, I have one, two, three, four, five buildings here. So I'll duplicate this top layer five times, one, two, three, four, and then just rename these and just start with one here, which is going to be this building. Come up here to my pen tool, which is what I'm going to use to mask it out. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. And there we go. So now I'll just pre-compose this layer make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and just ignore these top layers. So I just made them all invisible. And now, as you can see, our focal point is going to be this corner of the building. So we want to make it appear in a way that complements that focal point with this angle that the building is being shot at by the camera. So essentially, when I start this out, it's going to remain parallel with the top of the building on both of these sides and then as well with these sides of the building. So I'll create a mask that's something like that so that this line is parallel with this side and this line is parallel with this side and then i'll slowly have it grow up to the top right here so i'll just close out my mask here open up the mask drop down by double tapping m and this is where you can keyframe your mask so i'll just create a mask path keyframe on the first frame and just anywhere on your clip you can animate this to go to the top where you want it to appear while also making sure that it's still remaining parallel though something like that highlight these keyframes click f9 to easy ease or right click go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease and what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to open up the graph editor and now with this curve here i'm able to play with the accuracy of the speed of the effect of the mask path so that that can definitely help you get some smoother looks then i'm just going to increase the feather a little bit and now i have something that looks like this and now I'm gonna add on the built-in Luma key effect. So I'll just keyframe threshold and then bring this value up until you can't see it anymore. And then just drag that keyframe to the first frame. Then later in the clip, set that back down to zero. And then you wanna increase the feather just a little bit, not too much, so maybe two will be good. And it starts to look like this right here. And yet again, after playing with the speed graph a little bit, I get something that looks like this. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer, pre-compose it again, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. And I'm going to add on the find edges effect and click invert so that it's mostly black so we can use it as an overlay. And then you can also add on the levels effect. And when you change this value right here, this will change how much whites and blacks you have in there. So I'll just bring it down a little bit over to about right there. And if you add in the built-in tint effect, 
change the map white to whatever color your heart desires i'll use like a light blue like that and then i'll change the blending mode to add and as you can see right around here when the building starts to appear it definitely gives a cool kind of trippy electricity energy orby kind of weird alien feel to it if you know what i mean and while i'm waiting for this to render make sure to check out jmobfx.com i heard it has the best editing packs or something like that i'm not really sure hold up yeah i just got a text it says jmovfx fx.com has the best editing packs and now what i'm gonna do is just kind of slowly fade out this blue tint effect that i have up here so i'm gonna pre-compose that layer yet again and then just change the blending mode again to either screen lighten or add to whatever works for you and then you can use another luma key effect to fade it out so right here i'll set the threshold at zero then later in the clip once the building is fully there i'll just increase the threshold and bada bang bada boom it's gone like that and i find if you use screen as a blending mode and then add on a deep glow or optical glow it definitely gives a really cool look so i'm just going to keyframe in some deep glow to give a good aesthetic and now i'm just going to build up my scene and kind of repeat this process for all the other buildings in the scene and you can really do a ton of creative things with this so now here's the second technique that i'm going to be showing you guys how to do today in after effects so this has been done in lots of different ways in different videos and tutorials and i'm just going to put my own spin on it show you guys how i would do it and it can be done actually really quickly and it's a pretty effective effect for or you know professional short films or professional music videos and it's definitely something that can wow your clients and it takes like not much time at all to do so so i got this little clip of this guy walking through here and essentially i'm going to make him turn invisible so just like the first effect that i just showed you guys how to do with the buildings we're going to apply that knowledge to this video but you're probably asking how am i supposed to do this on a video since this is not a still shot well it's actually pretty simple so the best way to do this would be in nuke which is essentially a professional vfx software that's used for tv shows and movies and in a professional setting that's the best way to do this task of essentially painting out your subject and creating a completely new clean plate without your subject in it but since we're kind of using the bootleg version of this in after effects i'll show you guys how to do that so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a mask around this guy so not a roto but a mask so and this doesn't have to be super accurate you can also go quite far away from the subject if you want and then just set a keyframe for mask path and then every 10 frames just check it make sure he's still in the frame here and there we go after about a minute of masking out my subject right here doing just a little rough mask i get something like this now we're just going to invert the clip by clicking the little invert box down here and now over here on your side panel there should be a little tab here this is content aware fill but if it's not there come up here to window and just click content aware fill it'll show up on the right here and it's really simple just leave the settings as it is leave lighting correction on put it on strong make sure it's set to object and click generate fill layer when your cursor is on the first frame. I'll click generate fill layer. And usually this only takes about a minute. Sometimes it'll take a little bit longer. And there we go. It removes our subject from the frame completely. Now for a quick effect in like a music video, I'd recommend using this method. But if you guys are doing this in a professional setting for like a short film or for a high budget music video, I'd recommend using Nuke because as you can see over here, it's all warp and the background isn't moving correctly and it doesn't look real. Well, and the next thing you're gonna do is roto brush out your subject. So I already went and did that here. I'm not gonna explain how to do it. It's pretty simple and there's like a million tutorials out there on it. But yeah, so now this is where the easy part comes in. So all I'm to do is add on the built-in displacement map effect set the displacement map layer to roto i just named my roto layer roto and then if you make that layer invisible and then adjust the displacement map on the bottom layer boom there he is there's your invisible dude and when you guys mess with it if you get the black in here just click wrap pixels around and it'll take care of it for you and yeah you can even keyframe some movement around this and now you can make this into a cool effect where you add a shake effect transitioning from where he is visible to invisible and you can apply this same function to adjustment layers to solid layers to matte layers and, and you can do a ton, ton of really creative stuff with this i also applied this to the building effect that i just showed you from the first of 
effect and it gives some really cool looks. And if you guys are obsessed with visual effects, you guys might want to check out this video right here where I break down how to transform yourself into Iron Man with nanotech or this advanced compositing tutorial and after effects of how I explain the best teleportation effect. And of course, check out my website where I have all of the best editing packs out right now. I appreciate you guys much for tuning in. God bless. Peace.